This was the first installment of Tomorrowland on the Disneyland TV show. It aired on March 9th, 1955. When you think of all that's happened in the decades since, it's remarkable how accurate it is in predicting what manned spaceflight would be like. But like most of the Tomorrowland shows, this one succeeds because it establishes a context for the subject. It talks about our fascination with space, and the moon in particular, going so far as to include George Melee's famous 1902 movie, A Trip to the Moon. You'll see producer-director Ward Kimball at the beginning of the show, and also get to meet the experts he consulted while preparing this series. People like Werner von Braun, Willie Ley, and Heinz Haber, whose names are indelibly associated with this incredible era of scientific progress. But Kimball's sense of humor is also on display here, in some clever and amusing animated sequences, not all of which are politically correct by today's standards. Incidentally, the show is narrated by Dick Tufeld, who does a typically fine job. If his voice sounds familiar, it's not just because he was one of the busiest radio and television announcers of all time. He was also the voice of the robot in the 1960s Irwin Allen TV series, Lost in Space. This show turned out so well that Disney decided to release a somewhat shorter version of it to theaters as a featurette in 1956, accompanying Davy Crockett and the River Pirates. As a result, it qualified for the Academy Awards and earned an Oscar nomination as Best Documentary Short Subject. President Eisenhower requested a print to screen at the Pentagon, and the scale model of the space station built for the show was also sent to Washington, where it resides at the National Air and Space Museum. Man in Space was a giant step forward for Walt Disney and his audience.